Hey guys, Mizak here, back with another review. This is like my eighth take because I keep messing up. This is the Power Ranger Samurai Swordfish Zord, or as the package calls it, the Blue Ranger Swordfish Zord Water. I really don't know why they add all that. Uh, this is the Blue Samurai's personal Zord, in addition to the dragon. Uh, really quick, packaging the same. Let's get this little guy out of the way. This is the Blue Ranger in Mega Mode, which so far is just how they appear in the Megazord, and that's it. Just go with it. Uh, he's pretty much the same as the other ones. Just a static statue, really. And is it just me, or does that look like a pull string from old toys? That's just something weird my friend pointed out. Um, his only articulation is his wrist can turn and his head can turn as you saw a second ago and that's it and yes he can ride on top of the swordfish zord to be extra silly the peg hole for his foot is right there with the arrows and you just peg him in i'm not going to peg him in because we know how well that goes and he he's he, he just sits like that and that's all there is to it so let's set him back there and let's take a good look at the Swordfish Zord before we get started. Now it's pretty much exactly the same as the Japanese one, just really, really small. Uh, but there are quite a number of differences. Uh, also, his mouth does not move down here. It feels like it should, but it is, that does not. His fins, however, do go up and down like that and his tail, which is part of the transformation. Now, differences between this and the Japanese version, which is the Kajiki origami, is uh, the gimmick is completely different. It's missing its two missiles that would be right here on each side. And there's mainly this part does not split open like it does when it combines with the other two swords. Uh, the gimmick for this, like I said, is completely different. There's no disc. This is just white plastic with molding that's been painted blue. The Japanese version, which never made sense to me, I never liked it. You would spin the disc, and the silver part on his nose right here, the sword part, would just pop up like that every few seconds. It was really weird. It never made any sense to me whatsoever. I actually think that the American version improves on that a lot. Instead of the beak moving, you can see his tail is kind of floppy. Whenever you roll him, these two wheels are connected, he flaps his tail. And hey, that screams fish to me. <laughs> I actually like this better than Japanese version. It's nothing much at all, but hey, it's something. You can actually see that the tail is really loose back here. It's on a ball. It's on actually a, a tight ball joint, but it's inside of like a loose socket. So whenever you turn it, it keeps its position, but it's still loose enough to actually flop around whenever you roll it. So <laughs> that's pretty much it for him on his own. Uh, not much else you can do with him. You can combine him with his buddies the Beetle Zord, and then the Tiger Zord, but that's going to be in a separate video where I just, whoa, finger, <laughs> where I just talk about the Battle Wing, which is what they're calling the Tenku, Tenku, oh, I, I can't remember what it's called. So let's get the Samurai Megazord in here uh, for the Samurai Armament, is what they actually call it in the American series, which is awesome. I've taken the Ape Zord off and his helmet just in preparation. Now this is completely different combination just like the Beatles Ward. Uh, the helmet's the same but the Japanese version you put the helmet on and the rest of them would sit back here just like that pretty much and you would spin the disc and you would uh, you'd actually attach the sword into his mouth which would be his helmet and then you would spin the disc and it would just fall like that. <laughs> it was pretty lackluster. But in this one, 
it's completely different. So first thing you want to do is pop off his head like that. <laughs> Take his head and these fins will flip up like that and they'll stop there. And then the actual sword part, see if I can do this with one hand. Nope. Oh, there we go. Will actually come up like that. You can see it just extended out a little bit. And come on. Come on, there we go. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be. And that will just go on his head like that. And it, I, I guess, you know, that's enough room for him to see, but any time you're looking at him, it just completely covers his face. And like I said, the Japanese one, for his big finishing attack, you'd actually stick the sword in its mouth and spin the disc, and it would just go plop like that. Pretty dumb, I think. Oh, we actually need that sword, because now what we do, there's no more transformation for the sword. And this is really odd. You take the sword, and there is a square hole right there. You, uh, take the sword <laughs> and jam the hilt down its decapitated throat. Like that. <laughs> oh, wow. And then you just take it up here and replace the ape sword with the entire swordfish, which we're going to need movie magic for. Come on. Come on. Oh, God, I'm bleeding. Oh, oh, okay, I got it. I'm fine. <laughs> to do that, that is freaking ridiculous. Um, I guess it makes more sense, but that... You have to remove one of the zords to put it on there, and... I'm just disappointed. <laughs> and at least with the Beetle Sword, they could kind of get away with the shield thing. Because in the show, it doesn't form a shield, but it doesn't. It does the same thing. It, you know, it fires from the head. There's absolutely no way they can get away with this in the show, unless they completely redo the entire scene. That's just. I don't like it. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get at here, is I just don't like it. So, yeah, that's all you can do with it, too. You can, you know, you can raise it and lower it, but... Why? Oh, sorry, Blue. So, yeah, that is the Swordfish Zord in the Samurai Zord combined. I am at a loss for words. So, next video, we're going to take a look at how he combines with his buddies. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a nice day. God.